Hey guys, and welcome back inside the Vintage Geek's Toy Room. I'm John, your host, the Vintage Geek. And today we're taking a look at a really cool action figure. One that's sure to stand out in The Rise of Skywalker. We're taking a look at none other than Constable Zuvio. Or, I mean, the Sith Trooper. <laughs> Yes, I, I, you know, I kind of waited on doing the Sith Trooper here because everybody has already unboxed him. Everyone's already talked about him. I'm a little bit late to the game here. He's number 92 in the Black Series, the Sith Trooper. But I figured I had to open him eventually, right? I got to get this guy open. And I've got two of them sitting here, so we'll put them side by side and check them out. He comes in, you know, the, the little blurb in the back, and it's in five languages. I don't really believe any of this. I, I'll get into that in a second here. <laughs> this is all made up for the box. This figure is uh, made up. Disney Hasbro, all the warning labels down there. Star Wars The Black Series, The Sith Trooper. All right, here we go. Comes with this little cool blaster. This is like beefier than a standard Star Wars blaster that we've seen. The barrel is just gigantic on this weapon. The rest of it seems in line with the Star Wars universe. It's just that barrel that's really beefy. And then here's the Halo weapon that he gets. This looks like something that would come out of the Halo video game series. It's kind of unusual for Star Wars to have a weapon like this. But it, fit, it works well for the character. It's pretty cool, you know. Interesting design. And here's the Sith Trooper himself. He's got lines all over the helmet. The red and black really stands out. And the helmet is more angular. The whole armor set is more angular. The, uh, the chest piece, everything. He's got this little camera dealie on the shoulder. I guess it's a shoulder-mounted camera. We don't know. Extra little doodads and dips on the, on the shoulder pad there. And, yeah, just like in general, the arms, the legs, the chest piece, they all have these lines and ridges in them. He's got the single-jointed elbow, but the double-jointed knees. Otherwise, the joints on this guy are the same as any other uh, Black Series 6-inch figure. I think the only difference is the single joint in the elbow, which I don't understand why they did for this figure. Why only one joint in the elbows? I don't know. When a lot of them come double jointed elbows, especially you know wielding weapons and guns, you'd want this guy to have the more posability. But anyway, like I said, I got two of them open, so I did two different poses here. The guns do clip onto the legs like usual, so that's pretty cool. You could store your extra weapons there. I gave this one two blasters, and this guy the blaster rifle, just so you can kind of see it in a couple different varieties there, you know. So here's what I'm thinking. Here's my take. As you guys look at this figure, I'll show a couple 360s. We'll do some roundabouts and uh, some scans of the figure going up and down here to show you kind of the detail. And, and, and I'll tell you what I think about this figure, okay? This particular character might not be in the movies. That's why I'm saying it's a Constable Zuvio. Because... Look at all the previews, look at all the posters, everything we've had that has been released officially, officially released, not that first poster where all the red troopers were on the bottom and they showed 3PL with the bandolier and the, and the gun. I'm saying everything that's been officially released by Disney that's related to the movie, to marketing the movie itself, not marketing toys, not marketing cereal, none of that stuff. I'm saying the actual movie. None of it has shown a red Stormtrooper. None of it. He's not in any of the trailers, any of the previews, any of the stuff for the, for the movie. Every time they show a Stormtrooper, he's wearing white. Every time they show a Jet Trooper, he's wearing white. In all the previews and everything. So I think that if this guy's in the movie at all... He's going to be in the flashback or the Force Vision, whatever that is, where we saw Dark Ray. 
it's kind of like the emperor i don't know i'm just gonna say the emperor because why not say like the emperor goes this is what could be if you follow me and it shows ray as like the dark side ray with the dual bladed red lightsaber and you'll see like an army of red troopers lined up behind her or something you know what i mean like it, it's kind of like a vision so it's in there for like two seconds and we've got all these figures about them because otherwise, why wouldn't they show them... Oh, here's some comparisons, by the way. Here you go. Comparison from the white one to the red one. So you can kind of see what I mean by the the difference in the armor and the, the grooves and the angularity of the chest piece and stuff. But anyway, why why would they have... the? Why wouldn't he be in the trailer? At least for like a quick shot, you know? And, and every time they do show them, like when they're running down the corridor fighting them, there's, they're white troopers. When they're... When they're being chased on the speeder, it's white troopers behind them chasing them. You know, whenever the, when they're fighting them in the hallway, it's a white trooper that falls on the ground. You know, it's like they don't ever show the red ones. And you think they would in the trailers at least once, right? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's just an idea. It's just a theory. It's just this nagging thing in my gut that's just saying, this is a toy this is something that was there that marketing picked up on early and they're just running with it and then everyone has to run with it because it looks cool being red and black but he's not actually in the movie <laughs> so what do you guys think tell me in the comments below is this a constable zuvio or is it really going to be a big part of the film and they've just kept it secret from us i don't know i don't know i don't know all right, guys. Well, hey, thanks a lot for watching this video. I really appreciate you checking this out. Let me ramble on as you look at the Red Sith Trooper. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Is he in the movie or is he in a flashback? Is it a flash forward? Is it a what-if scenario? What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks a lot. I'm John. I'm out of here. And we'll talk to you guys next time. See you. May the Force be with you always. Oh, that Mandalorian trailer was awesome, wasn't it?